Americans are hitting the road, headed to all corners of the country. And one company stock is in the driver's seat. Will the rally run out of gas? Or can Thor Industries chart a smooth course on the open road? What are we supposed to make of the incredible run in Thor Industries? The make of recreational vehicles and motorhomes under a host of brands, including Airstream. I recommended Thor a little more than two months ago, and since then it's rallied a quick 27%, giving you a 45% gain year to date. And it made another brand new all-time high today. Some of this strength has to do with the simple fact that Thor is a play on the high-end consumer's discretionary spending space. An RV ain't cheap, but as the economy recovers, more and more people are willing to shell out the money to pay for one. On top of that, at the beginning of July, we learned that Thor is buying Jayco, the third largest maker of RVs, for $576 million. And the deal will make their number one market share position even more unassailable. Market's been lapping it up, which is why the stock's been on fire lately. However, when you have this kind of massive move in such a short period of time, you always have to remain vigilant. You've got to ask yourself, is there more upside? Maybe ring the register. With that in mind, today, Thor's management was in town to ring the closing bell at the NYSE and celebrate the 30th anniversary of their listing in these chains. So I got a chance to catch up with their team, including Thor Industry CEO Robert Martin, and check out some of their hottest RVs. Take a look. Bob, we are... Stand, we're, we're right next to one of the most iconic machines in the world. Tell us about how this has become something that lasts. You know, the Airstream it is. It's iconic. It's a brand that when people see uh, the RV industry and they think of a trailer, they think of an Airstream. Yes. And it's, uh, it's known for quality, but it's known for towability, the unique shape. People see that and they're instantly drawn to it. And for us, it's one of our strongest brands right now as we're going into the next century with younger buyers. We're watching younger buyers come in even to the Airstream price point. You know, there are some that think maybe we, we don't build them anymore, but we're at record production right now for Airstream travel trailers. Well, I also think it's important that you talk about the notion of Thor as a collection of brands, a decentralized collection, so that we may not know who Thor is, but we know a lot of your brands. Definitely. For Thor, uh, we're, we're uh, very decentralized, less than 50 people in our corporate office based out of Elkhart, Less than Indiana. 50 people, you're like Warren Buffett. It's very similar, very similar to business model. And so we are based out of Northern Indiana, and we have this collection of companies throughout the nation, but mostly Northern Indiana and Elkhart County. And it is brands like Airstream. Uh, we just picked up another iconic brand, Jayco. But it's the way that we manage these companies. We buy strong companies that have strong fundamentals, strong management, and we let them run and be very unique. We embrace the fact that they're unique. We uh, have seen a change in America post the Great Recession. Uh, America's become more frugal. Both the tow and the, and the motor coach represent good value for what you get. They do. Air Airstream's a little bit more, definitely. They're, you know, they're 80 to $100,000 right. trailer, but the bulk of what we're selling in the industry, there are travel trailers that you could buy for $10,000. There are motorhomes like the motorhome behind us that retails uh, high 70s, but you can buy a motorhome for mid 60s. And it's a value. And we really have rebranded some of our motorhomes to where they're rather than RVs, they're RUVs. It's uh, like a recreational utility vehicle, and it's actually less money than a big SUV. And that resonates with many people uh, as they look at the affordability. They're using it in different ways as well. They're not just camping. They're going to football games. They're going to right. NASCAR races. Right. Uh, I was at a NASCAR race a month ago. There's 9,000 campers there, and those are our customers. Okay, one of the things that, that people don't know about your customers also, millennials and diversity. I think that a lot of us had felt that those who are a little out of touch, well, you know, it's an older cohort. Yeah. But there's a growth to this business that many people don't know that I need you to talk about. That, that's, that's where there's definitely an upside. Uh, you know, it definitely has been, people thought it was just baby boomers, and when baby boomers were done, it was over. Well, you know, we still have five years of boomers, about five years till millennials are hitting our peak, but the, our younger buying demographic is coming down and the diversity. Camping is universal. It's about family. It's about the outdoors. It's about just getting away, whether you drive 15 miles away to a campground or whether you drive 2,000 miles to the West Coast. It's all about family and it really is. It speaks to every different area and that's where as a company and as an industry, I think we'll do a better job over the next few years 
reaching that other customer uh, just to diversify even more. But it, it's important, Bob, you, uh, your disclosure, first of all, is phenomenal. I mean, you've got pages, you, you ask yourself questions that most analysts are, would say is too tough, but one of the things I thought was interesting was you are, uh, you relate to consumer confidence, you talk about optimism. These do drive sales. I yeah. felt when I read your numbers, America's feeling a little better than we think. You know, we think so. As we look at the industry right now, uh, a lot of ours is driven by credit. There's so many positive signs for our industry that are headed the right direction that give our customers the confidence to go buy an RV. Uh, you know, unemployment. It's uh, right. many of the different drivers are helping us, and we really we think there are brighter days ahead. For many years, everybody wants to know. You know, it's a cyclical industry. When's it? You know what? It, it, we've got a nice long run because we're reaching more people, right. and the signs are very positive. Why stay so decentralized? When I first heard about your company, I said, well, they must be small. In fact, you've got tremendous market share, but it's just under different brand names. You know, decentralized helps everything be unique. Our brands actually compete with each other. Yeah, they our, do. Our, they the do. dealer network competes. They do, but that's what drives innovation. And for us, that's what, uh, Every year we have a big open house in September, 500 units. Everybody's competing with each other to see if they can beat not just our company, but our competitors throughout the industry. But many times our best competitors are within the Thor companies and they fiercely compete. Could you talk about the uh, the actual growth of units? Because both motor and tow have different growth, but they're both rather extraordinary as if they're just pure growth stocks. Definitely, the, the the growth in travel trailer and fifth wheel has been primarily the last few years in travel trailer. So it's price point. It's driven by the less expensive units, which also points to newer, uh, more less experienced buyers, which for me is long term great for the industry. If I can get someone into the RV industry at a younger age, I can keep them for 10, 20 years, and there's a buying cycle. They buy an RV typically every three to five right. years. So if we start younger, we have a longer growth span. Uh, this particular company, Airstream, uh, I have seen people who have them 20, 30 years. What's the average duration of an Airstream? People can hold them for a lifetime because Why? they're- How come they don't fall apart? No, there's a cult that they'll actually, once the inside, if they decide to change it, there's a, a, there are companies that actually rebuild the insides and bring them uh, you know, up to a modern standard but it's the shell has stayed very true to itself right. throughout the many years, and it is the iconic, riveted right. part of it that people love, and they're just drawn to it. As you see out here on right. Wall Street, everybody wants to see the Airstream. Well, it, it, last question, in terms of loving, we love American companies on Mad Money. You are distinctly American. Thank you so much, we, we are. We're, we're uh, based out of Northern Indiana, mostly 85% of all RV production is Northern Indiana. We have Airstream in Ohio. We have uh, several plants in Idaho, five plants in Pendleton, Oregon. We are made in America. Most of the products that go in these are made in Northern Indiana. So our suppliers are made in America. So we're very proud of that piece. And our business is Northern America. So it's uh, US and Canada based. And that's why we see so much strength in that market. It gives us the confidence to uh, make some great moves throughout the year. Well, Bob Martin, President and CEO of Thor Industries, a great American company. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, Kramer. Booyah! Jim Kramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.